Terence M. Terry Pegula is an American multi-billionaire who holds business interests in natural gas development, real estate, entertainment and professional sports, including full ownership of the Buffalo Sabres of the National Hockey League and, along with his wife, the Buffalo Bills of the National Football League. Professional Sports equals Buffalo Sabres equals, on February 18, 2011, Pegula purchased Hockey Western New York LLC from previous owners Tom Goliasano, Larry Quinn, and Dan D. Poffey for $189 million. Pegula's purchase made an immediate positive impact, with players, fans and alumni invigorated by his investment in the team, the first Niagara Center and the building of Harbor Center across the street. Pegula was quoted as saying, Starting today, the Buffalo Sabres' reason for existence, will be to win a Stanley Cup. However, the Sabres have been unable to show any significant improvement in the five seasons since the Pegulas purchased the team. Taking a franchise considered to be just a few pieces away from a championship, or at the minimum, being able to compete for one. Finishing dead last, in the league, for the 2013-14 and 2014-15 NHL seasons, the team has continued to remain within several spots of last place in the league for the 2015-16 season. Equals Buffalo Bandits equals included in the Sabres purchase was their National Lacrosse League counterpart, the Buffalo Bandits. Equals Rochester Americans equals in May 2011, Pegula began negotiations on behalf of the Sabres to repurchase the Rochester Americans which had served as the Sabres American Hockey League affiliate from 1979 to 2008. The deal was completed in late June 2011. As part of the deal the Americans had to be split off from its NLL counterpart the Rochester Nighthawks since Pegula owned the Bandits. Along with the purchase of the Americans came upgrades to the team's arena, the Blue Cross Arena. Equals Buffalo Bills equals, on September 9, 2014, it was announced that Pegula had placed the winning binding bid to purchase the National Football League's Buffalo Bills, a team that was placed up for sale after the death of the original owner and team founder Ralph Wilson. Pegula was a favorite among most local Bills fans and local politicians to buy the team due to his commitment to the western New York area and local connections. He competed against real estate mogul Donald Trump and musician John Bon Jovi, the latter of whom was backed by principals of the Toronto-based Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment for the team. It was reported that the Pegulas made a $1.4 billion bid, all in cash. On September 17, 2014, the Pegulas were unanimously approved by the NFL's Finance Committee and were then scheduled to be presented at the NFL owners' meeting on October 8, 2014 for final owner approval. The Pegulas received unanimous approval from the league's owners on October 8 and closed the deal on October 10. Pegulas' first major order of business was to end the Bills Toronto series, which he did in an agreement reached on December 3, 2014. Finishing the 2015 NFL season, the Bills failed to qualify for the playoffs for the 16th consecutive season. This was in contradiction of a promise by first-year head coach Rex Ryan, hired by Kim and Terry Pegula to change the course of the franchise. On December 30, 2015, Terry Pegula issued a press release stating his continued support of GM Doug Whaley and head coach Ryan. Investments equals Natural gas equals, After working for a time for Getty Oil and Felmont Oil Company, Pegula founded East Resources, a natural gas drilling company, with $7,500 from family and friends. It profited heavily upon discovery of deep layers of natural gas in the Marcellus formation and development of the hydraulic fracturing recovery process. Pegula eventually sold the Pennsylvania, New York, and Rocky Mountain assets of the company to Royal Dutch Shell for approximately $4.7 billion. He sold the Ohio and West Virginia assets of the company to American Energy Partners for $1.75 billion in 2014. Pegula also owns Greater Rocky Mountain Regional Oil and Gas in Colorado and Wyoming, and JKLM Energy in Pennsylvania. Equals Real Estate Equals, in 2012 he won a bid for the development rights to the Webster Block on Buffalo's waterfront. The $170 million hockey-themed Harbor Center building, which is anchored by the two rinks, 
a large parking garage, retail, restaurants, and a hotel. The building, mostly opened in November, 2014 with a rinks, restaurants and parking garage, it was fully completed and opened in August, 2015 with the completion and opening of the hotel and retail. Pegula is also the operator of First Niagara Center. Equals other investments equals, Pegula also owns a share of Black River Entertainment, an independent country music label. The label features such acts as Kelsey Belair and I, Kelly Piccola and Craig Morgan as well as the related Black River Publishing and Soundstage Studio all under the Black River label based in Nashville, Tennessee. Also under the Pegula umbrella is Impact Sports Performance, two high-performance athletic training facilities which are based in Boca Raton, Florida and Harbor Center in Buffalo. In addition Pegula owns 716 Food and Sport, a two-floor sports-themed restaurant which serves as the main business tenant of Harbor Center. Through a partnership with Southern Tier Brewing Company, Pegula launched AA Euro OE1 Buffalo a Euro-branded craft beer that will sell at all Pegula-owned properties. Pegula's combined company containing his sports and entertainment assets is known as Pegula Sports and Entertainment, with its sports properties operating under the brand One Buffalo. The company's offices are based in the Fairmont Creamery Building in Buffalo, New York. Philanthropy equals Penn State Hockey equals, an alumnus of Pennsylvania State University, Pegula donated $102 million for the construction of the on-campus Pegula Ice Arena in 2010. As a result, Penn State, which had fielded club teams in both men's and women's hockey for years, would be able to transition both teams into Division I starting in the 2012-13 season. This led to a domino effect across the men's college hockey landscape. Because six Big Ten universities now had Division I men's hockey programs, it was announced that Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State would join Penn State in the Big Ten Hockey Conference starting in the 2013-2014 season. As a result, the CCHA ceased operations, with most schools joining the WCHA. Miami University and Western Michigan University, also previously in the CCHA, joined the upstart National Collegiate Hockey Conference along with former WCHA members St. Cloud State, Minnesota Duluth, Denver, Colorado College, Nebraska Omaha, and North Dakota. XCCHA member Notre Dame joined Hockey East, which then recruited Arcon from the Atlantic Hockey Association to begin play in Hockey East in 2014. After the dust settled, the ECAC was the only Division I conference not affected by the major conference realignment. Because Penn State's arrival gave the Big Ten only four varsity women's hockey programs, that conference was unable to add the sport, meaning that the women's hockey landscape did not undergo the radical changes that occurred in the men's game. The Penn State women's team settled in College Hockey America, a league that sponsors only women's hockey. Equals Horton College equals, the Pegulas donated $12 million to Horton College in Horton, New York, of which Kim Pegula is an alumna, to build the Kerr Pegula Athletic Complex. The facility includes new baseball and softball stadiums and a 115,000 square foot field house with an eight lane 200 meter track, five tennis courts, weight room, cardiac fitness center, and locker rooms. The new facility is mainly targeted toward Horton College Intercollegiate Athletics, which recently moved up to Division III Athletics and the Empire Eight Conference. It opened on October 4, 2014. Personal Pegula was born in Carbondale, Pennsylvania, where he attended high school at Scranton Preparatory School. From there he attended college at Penn State University where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering. During the 1980s, he was based in Allegheny, New York. He currently lives in Boca Raton, Florida, along with his second wife, Kim Pegula, a graduate of Horton College and whose hometown is Fairport. New York. Kim was born in Seoul, South Korea, and at age five was adopted in 1973 by Ralph and Marilyn Kerr. He has five children, two from a previous marriage and three with Kim. Jessica Pegula is a tennis player on the Women's Tennis Association's Pro Circuit. Political Views 
Pegula has been identified as a Republican. He does not speak publicly about his specific political views. Pegula and his wife have made political donations to politicians of both parties, generally to incumbents. In 2010, Pegula and his wife donated $305,000 to Republican Tom Corbett's campaign during the Pennsylvania governor's race. They were the largest contributors for the Pennsylvania Attorney General. In New York, Pegula and his wife have donated $25,000 to New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's campaign during the 2014 elections and has also donated $12,000 to Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, $2,500 to Senator Chuck Schumer and $250 to State Senator Tim Kennedy, all Democrats. References External links Pegula Sports and Entertainment Official Website, Terence M. Pegula Euro Profile at the Buffalo Sabres Official Website, Terry Pegula Euro Bio at the Buffalo Bills Official Website, Terence Pegula Euro Profile at Forbes, Profile on Terry Pegula by the Buffalo News, Profile on Kim Pegula by the Rochester Democrat and Chronicle.